fashion with the Made in Kazakhstan label. The leading and aspiring Kazakh fashion industry designers. Fashion Week reviews, the latest trends, and pointers from the stylists. All your news from the world of fashion and beauty on Fashion Guide. Beauty has the power to bring peace to the people's hearts. These words of Miguel de Cervantes are as relevant today as they were back in his time. We are very visual beings and love to see beauty all around us. That's why beauty pageants are so popular. One of them was held in Kazakhstan. The grand finale of the International World Beauty Contest took place in Astana. This contest is a year-round business. The contestants compete in such categories as talents, Little, Mini, Young, Teen, Ms. and Mrs. contestants from over 20 nations came to take part in the finale, and a grand catwalk was built here for this purpose. The World Beauty Pageant's mission is to show that beauty has no age limits. Among contestants are not just young girls, but their mothers too. Apart from visual appeal, they have to show their talents. The jury was charged with the task of reviewing the model's portfolios and stage performances. We apply expert evaluation methods here. 22 experts are on our panel, and they have their own criteria for models' height, vitals, and showmanship evaluation. The contestants had to show their best in terms of beauty and dresses. They walked the runway in traditional and designer dresses. When making our collection, we use natural, ecologically clean fabrics like silk and margulan silk. Irina Nechayeva's collection is called Melody of the Heart. Sixteen looks were devoted to Kazakhstan, its traditions and nature. Kazakh culture is interesting. Uh, it's new, it's fresh. Um, and so why not to think about the future of them? The pageant's winner will get a chance to meet Pierre Cardin in Paris. For many contestants, the event was a starting point in their careers. This is a professional models contest, so we gained experience and modeling skills taking part in the event. Young models, talented designers, Ms. and Mrs. titles, definitely such contests can bring us new names. To paint like Degas or Renoir, to study graphic arts and create stage costumes, these are Hanum Aydash's hobby. The prominent designer and ethnologist's career started in the theater. After 15 years of creating stage dresses, the couturier started a fashion house of her own. Today, Hanum helps the young designers and promotes Kazakh fashion. I'm happy to sell Kazakh designers' products because it's infinitely interesting for me. The more they create, the more you love them. Nur Shah, Aida Kaumienova, Kinje Divyatka, Bibiesara. These are the names of both aspiring and famous Kazakh designers whose clothes Hanum's fashion house sells. Hanum's own products are exquisitely feminine, featuring ethnic design elements. First, we look at the quality, because we have many products on sale from seamstresses and designers. So, to be competitive, we have to have quality products. It's no secret that Hanum is Kazakh pop star's favorite designer. Her motto is that the clothes must match the performer, and not vice versa. She makes unique stage costumes for them. The couturier carefully constructs the looks. Each detail reflects the singer's repertoire, and this is what makes Hanum's stage costumes so strikingly individual. I've worked with her since 1996, since the last century, so to speak. Back then, Hanum made three costumes for me. 
One of them is still in my collection. When I put it on, people ask me where I got it. No one believes that it's 20 years old. Hanum supports Kazakh designers organizing the San Mien Sakhnao contest. The designer's competition gives an impulse to the industry development as a whole. The winner's product gets a chance to be exhibited at Hanum's fashion house. This is the festival where we find talents, then we shape them. They spend years learning and finding their own style. The magazine under the same name supports further development of the local fashion platform. The magazine publicizes Kazakh pop stars' looks. I want more pop star clothes to be published in it along with the stories of how they were created. I hope that performers who know me would be happy to tell their stories. The seasoned artist shares her experiences with young designers and the aspiring couturiers come up with new ideas and start new trends. This interaction and synergy between generations yield successful collections and individual original models. There's always a story behind the making of a designer look. Kazakh designers are often inspired by the past, or rather, by their roots. Ainur Turiz Biek's new collection is called Shejirie, which means a family tree in Kazakh. I devote my collection to my ancestors, to my families and all families. People often forget to live their lives properly while trying to achieve their goals, be they material or spiritual. They tend to forget to live in the now and enjoy the present moment. Each Kazakh knows his ancestors down to the seventh generation. Ainur says that in today's hasty world, many people just forget about their family and that she wants family values to be remembered through her clothes. The tree of life became the symbol of her show. Its branches grow up to symbolize the power of the ancestor's spirit, and its roots go deep into the ground to signify the importance of history. I believe this is what makes us different from other peoples and cultures. I'm happy that our designers raise such issues. Chainmail and rugged boots tell a story of the Kazakh people's solidarity and resiliency. Kazakh language letters accentuate the folk motifs. Traditional patterns are obvious in Ainur's Falbala dress, in embroidered elements and stylish camisoles. That's the designer's modern interpretation of the ethnic material. Staying true to the tradition, Ainur uses leather and dark colors. We combine the high end with my favorite ethnics, to make wearable ethnic dresses, to make people wear our traditional clothing, not like the ones in museums, but modern and fashionable traditional outfits. Moreover, Ainur's ideas are visualized in her fashion film. Almost 30 minutes of the reel present the continuity of generations, the spirit of the endless Kazakh steppe and fascinating music of Kobuz. The designer used it all to convey the essence of the Shejirie collection. The designer's ideas are not always 100% clear to the regular folks, and film and music are the tools to convey her ideas and stir the emotion. And the collection did stir the emotions, and patriotic ones too. I notice work is a powerful statement about us, our ancestors' legacy, 
and the unique history of the Kazakh people. Never before have ethnic clothes been made so popular.